Okay, so uh, we've gone ahead and we've completed our motors and sensors setup. So we are now ready to um, to go ahead and work with our um, our Vex Cortex. So um, I have I have um, my project here. Basically, once I do this uh, motor and sensor setup for the test bed, I can go ahead and use this same um, this same file again for my next thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it as we're just doing a, a sample program. So we're going to call this GTT just test bed just first sample. Okay, so this will just be the very first time we're using it. So we're just going to call this the project title. We're going to do first sample program. Okay, we're just kind of getting our feet wet. So we're going to call it test description is just uh, try out the programming for the test bed. Okay, so we're going to imagine, um, we're going to imagine a situation uh, where we want to imagine a car backing out of the um, of the driveway. Okay, so basically we're going to have our limit switch and bump switch act like the gas pedal and the brake pedal. All right. So we're going to go ahead and write pseudo code that's going to describe that situation. Okay, so we're going to put wait for gas pedal. Okay, then we're going to say uh, start um, right motor in reverse. Okay, and we're also going to start left motor in reverse. We're going to say start left motor in reverse. Okay, so now the car is moving backwards. So we're, remember, we're backing out of our parking space. Okay. And then we're going to say wait for brake pedal, right? So it's moving in reverse now. Okay. And then we're going to stop both motors. Okay. So we have this situation. We have... We've wait, we're going to wait for the gas pedal, right? So the car is kind of running. We wait for the gas pedal. Um, once the gas pedal is pressed, we start the right motor, start the left motor in reverse, wait for the brake pedal, stop the right motor, stop the left motor. Okay, so that's our pseudocode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just um, come down here and we're actually going to make the pseudocode comments. So if you can imagine, we're going to go ahead and just comment the pseudocode. So we copy and paste the pseudocode below. We're going to comment each line of pseudocode. All right, and then we're going to start to drag over programming. All right, so wait for gas pedal. So I'm going to open up my natural language. And remember, we're going to open up the wait part. Okay, actually, we're going to, so wait is just for time, but I want to, I want to bump, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead, um, we're going to do until touch. It's interesting because we have until touch, until release, and until button. Um, and so it's interesting. Actually, until button press is the one that's, that has worked for me best in the past. So let's just go ahead until button press. All right, that's pretty much, that's kind of easier. Okay, now it's saying, um, it's saying, you know, until button press. So I'm going to, you know, leave my uh, comment up there. Now I need to know the name of my button. Now remember that we named all these buttons up here in these pragma statements. Okay, so my limit switch is going to be my gas pedal. Okay, so notice that I'm going to type in limit. Okay, so I type in limit switch. Remember that's just the name I gave for the limit switch, right? Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start motor. Okay, so we, we drag over start motor. That was a click drag and release. Okay, so the motor port, remember it's left motor. Okay, so we just give it the name we gave it. Even though it says motor port, we just give it the name that we gave it. Our speed, remember we want it to go in reverse. We call it negative 127. Okay, now remember that, oop, I started the left motor. We're going to start the right motor. Okay, now I'm going to copy and paste this one and I'm just going to change it to be the left motor. Okay, so we start the left, right and the left motor. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and wait for the brake pedal. Okay, so we're going to put until button press. And this time I want the bump switch to be the brake pedal, so I'm going to put bump switch. 
Okay, so that's wait for the brake pedal. Okay, now we're going to stop the right and left motor. So notice that I have the same thing, right? Oh, oh actually, you know, it's start and stop are different. So, so we're going to pull over stop motor. So notice I went over to my uh, movement section of natural language. I found stop motor, and I clicked and dragged it over. So remember, I'm going to need two stop motors, right? One for the one for the left and one to the right. So I went ahead and dragged them over. And remember, I can uh, double click on any word. So if I double click on right motor and then control C to copy, I can double click on motor port, control V to paste. Double click on left motor, copy. Double click on motor port, control V to paste. So that's kind of different than typing, right? So I want to efficiently move text around while I'm programming. I don't necessarily want to type everything in. Okay, so that's my first program. So notice what we have here. We have until button press. So in theory, the, the program is not going to do anything. So what's going to happen is that it's going to start task main and it's going to go from to line 34 and it's going to wait and it's just going to sit there until a button is pressed. At the, as soon as the button is pressed, it's going to go 35, 36 and then stick on 38. So it starts the motor, starts right motor, starts left motor and then sticks on 38 right here and just stays there until the button is pressed. Now notice we don't do anything else to the motor. We just leave it running while it's waiting for this button to be pressed. Okay. And then we're going to stop the motors, right? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. So we're going to go robot compile and download. Okay, notice my motors and sensors are turned on. Okay, and notice nothing is happening yet, right? It's a little odd that my sensors aren't showing up, but we'll see how it works. Okay, so we're going to try the limit switch. Oh, and it didn't work. So I have a little bit more um, uh, programming to do here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And I am going to start working on debugging this program uh, while you get started. So go ahead, write out your pseudocode for your program, and try um, and go ahead and copy your pseudocode down and just fill in your first program and try to download, compile, and download. Good luck.